And we should be live. So we're a couple minutes early. I wanted to try something. Okay, so first of all, I've got Faye on the thumbnail here. And we're not using Faye anymore. I'll get into that in just a second. But YouTube just refuses to show thumbnails, like, at certain points. And I don't understand why, but I, I did notice something. What happened is when I changed the thumbnail during the live stream, it showed at that time for, like, on the preview and whatnot. Um, what's up, KV? Yeah, it looks like you were first. Vino's here. You're always first to Vino, says... Uh, KV says you're always first to him. And Waffles is always last, but he's looking around for Waffles. <laughs> BG's here. What's up, BG? Making uh, homework files, so I'll be listening mainly. Okay, that's cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I started a few minutes early because I want to try something. Uh, I need to update my thumbnail, and I want to see if I update my thumbnail live while the, the thing is running, will it, like, show it in the previews for people? And also, like, when I go to, like, choose the settings of the last stream for tomorrow, Will it actually show it there? Because it's been showing me dot, 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 blank gray screens for those as well. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I needed to, I want to change the background a little bit more um, to something else. And and also ch take out Faye. Because we're using Socket.io, Express, jQuery, uh, with Node.js, of course, uh, instead of Faye. We were using MySQL still. So let me just find something. Color dodge with maybe 40%. That didn't seem to change. <laughs> that one definitely. <laughs> Looks like it, things messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. It's strangely attractive to the eye in a weird way. Oh. You know, like, it's really, it's like, oh, the graphics card's messed up. It attracts and, me to grab it and throw it in the dumpster. You don't have the Fey. <laughs> no, I took the Fey out because it wasn't working right for me. Like, I just, I couldn't get it to, I couldn't find a solution. And I wasn't getting a clean disconnect. What's up, Vaseline? What's up, Sir Legna? Yeah, let's do that. And let's take off the Fey. I'll just, 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 just. Just also, I'm not going to use Fruity Loops in this episode, but I wanted to throw that on there. Blech. Throw that up there. Is it this one? Nope. Uh, I didn't even layer it right. It's like layer two. All right. Oh my gosh! Why the da dong? Why am I getting da donged? Chill dev stream today. What's up, Pokegar? I hope you guys are cool with that. Um, placing. I need a socket IO image. Let me find one on, on Le Google. Le Google. Socket. Not cock it. Oh my god. Don't even. Shut up. Shut up. Images. Socket IO. Images. Just images. Ooh, no JSI. I like that combination. Let's uh, let's uh, da -da 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 save image as here. A spiggity biggity biggity. Socket IO Node.js dot PNG. That'll do. All right. Now that I've got that, I got it. File. Let's embed that. Welcome to Photoshopping with Drifty, where we Photoshop stuff. Beautiful. Just like that. Just leave it just like that. <laughs> just keeps getting better. Keeps getting better. All right. That'll work. Of course, we're not going to have that white background. Rosterize, please. Thank you. Oh, my sweet, sweet Nantucket. Let me just get rid of this stuff going on here. Yeah, I understand. I hear you. I hear you there. Let me fix that. Mm. 
um, I don't like, but I need something to contrast. That works. Inner sh yeah, okay. I'm gonna do that, I guess, just so I can see it. To be honest, I hate it. I hate it. It's the background. Yeah, the background is puke. It's the background. It's total there bomb. There was something. There was something oh, that's about it. That's better. It's got okay, lots of that's purple. like a negative or something. It's oh, difference. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna save this one. We're gonna call this one three. Yeah. Let's see if our experiment works. Always use JPEG when you're going to upload a thumbnail because you don't need alpha data. And in fact, the file size is smaller and you have a two megabyte file size limit on thumb on your thumbnails. All right, so click the option and change to this one. Go for it. Do it, boo. You still can't see the node JS socket IO. Looks pretty really really bad flipping flipping something about that It'll be fine. It'll be fine, they say. Any day, Photoshop. Yeah. Any day. Come on, Photoshop. But, um, how are you guys doing today? How are you feeling? Oh, I guess what I figured out. What'd you figure out? I found the MIDI Plus X Mini MIDI Keyboard Users Manual for my X3 Mini, and I looked up how to factory reset it. So I factory reset it, and now I can I can do the things again. It sounds cool, kind of, and I'll play for you. Here we go. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and join us on Discord. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and join us on Discord. Yeah. Corey Davis with a $5 super chat. How you doing, Corey? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate that you decided to show up. And especially the money, dropping money. I love it, dude. Thank you so much. He says, I want to stream. Ooh, it's rubbing off. <laughs> what we do is rubbing off on Corey. He wants to, he wants to stream. He's got the bug. He's got the bug. He's been streaming. Stream if bug. you guys don't know, Corey Davis has a YouTube channel. It's called Toronto Gaming Gamer. Or Toronto. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Toronto Gaming Gamer, right? Toronto Gaming Gamer. That's, is that kind of like is RPG? It, is it Toronto is that Gamer like, Gaming? Is that like RPG games? Role-playing game games? Yeah, it's like RPG games. Yeah. yeah Role-playing yeah. game games. It's the ATM machine. The <gasps> automatic teller machine machine. <laughs> hey, you do what you do. Hey, That's whatever, you do. whatever Some works. Some people don't think it be like it is, but it do. Most people don't think it be like it is, but, but it, it do. do. Yeah. Ah, what's up, Nick Elliott? KVs. Waffles is here. Let's go watch. Uh, it's for multiplayer. Well, yeah, you guys have fun. See you later. Aw, son of a son of a. How dare you, Waffles? Just kidding. I love you. It's cool. Do your thing, man. Waffles. I, I know. Listen, not everybody's like, I got a lot of shit going on. Look, I'm like running a SQL server uh, to connect. And then I'm like editing a database with DB Forge. And like this is just a lot of technical this is, this stuff. This is what I hear. Um, Nobody. Boobity boo blap boo. Right. Right. Boobity boo ba boo ba ba. Exactly. Exactly. So I expect lower numbers. It's all good though. <laughs> Five dollars super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. I appreciate that. Cooling. Uh, cooling. Gonna do some fruity loops tonight after work. Nice. Yeah. Nice ooh nice. Nice ooh nice nice nice. America cheeseburger. Nice ooh. Yes. It's like Greek to people. I've got like. So many PowerShell windows open. This one's for the actual RPG Maker MZ project. This one is for, ooh, I'm gonna show you that right now. And this one's for Cyber Baron. 
Like, this is stuff, man. And most entertaining stream ever. Sir Legna gets it. Listen, cer certain people, there are people who like what I'm, what I'm doing here. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yesterday. The I'm sound thirsty. is so, uh, your no, sarcasm sarca was like, No, no sarcasm. Okay. I do. I love it. It's I so do. good when it's you talk great. technical shit. Yesterday, see, what happened was three years ago, I, I found RPG Maker and I was like, oh, I know, I'm going to learn, uh, I'm going to learn JavaScript so I can write plugins. Uh-huh. And so I went on free free code camp and I started to learn learn JavaScript. But they pretty much teach you web design. That's essentially what you learn on yeah. free code camp. But you also learn JavaScript. You don't when you're doing the the stuff for for free code camp. It's actually apps you're making, so mm -hmm. it includes JavaScript. But anyways, uh, side point. I learned HTML and CSS, and I've never used it since then. So yesterday, when Drifty had an issue that CSS like could solve, yeah, I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Like, I was working on HTML files, and we had a style sheet. And she looks over and sees and t checks out what I'm doing from time to time. Um, but usually it's like, oh, okay, oh, okay, all right, all right. And then I was like, hmm, how do I make this bar move this way? And she's like, oh, you know what that is? That's CSS. I'm like, I, I know, like, what, a, I I know like, what a style sheet is. I was like, I know, I know, <laughs> the index, the she's index. Like, she's like, scoot over, scoot over, let me look at this. Let me see your code. <laughs> <laughs> no, she definitely came to the rescue. I was kind of, you know, I was going to figure it out eventually, but she sped up the whole process. She really helped a lot. Thank you, T. I appreciate it. Thank you, Free Code Camp. <laughs> it's finally coming in handy. Two dollar super chat from Vino. Thank you so much, Vino. New plugin is now up on my site, MZ Console. Oh shit! Oh shit! Five dollar super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. I'm in on stream and drift. We're counting on you. It's hard to stream and talk, lol. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. It is. It is. It's hard to talk and do stuff. It's hard to stream and and function at the same time. Yeah. Drifty's the man. He oh, gets it done. stop it. Keep going, though. Tell <laughs> yeah. I've tried to stream a couple times, and I'm like a fish out of water. No, you do great. No, Every I time don't. I have to no, go I pee, don't. I get up, and I go pee, and I come back, and I'm I like, don't. she's handling bitness. I'm an okay co-host. That's about it. Uh, but, you know. Mediocre. you got to have a co-host. You know, that's that's it. Like, I streamed by, my, I streamed by myself quite often, <laughs> and I have so much more fun with a co-host. So I, I feel blessed. T, thank you so much. You're a wonderful no, co-host. thank co -host. you. You're a wonderful streaming Aww, guy. The love. Can you guys feel the love? Do you feel it? <laughs> feel the love here? I, I love, love this guy. I really do. He's my love, favorite. He's my favorite breathing thing on the aw, planet. I love you, too. And I love our audience. We have a really good yeah, audience. You guys they, are awesome, too. They show up to watch me do mundane tasks and, <laughs> and, and and do weird odd things it's and really I, cool though what you're doing it i really like is. it i have i have, i think it's exciting and it's yeah. fun and it's i i love this sort of thing we made a damn chat box yesterday hi okary okary how you doing nice to see you thank you so much for tuning in can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> I would sing it better, but I don't want to get copyright strike. Yeah, that, he that's the only. It. He could sing it perfectly. That's the only reason I don't do it absolutely perfect. I don't want to yeah, get claimed. Exactly. <laughs> he sings it perfectly all the time. Uh -huh. All the time. In the shower. In this, yep. It's, well, that's my favorite place. Yeah, it's nice to sing in the shower. New baby 2021. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to know something funny? T's been looking up like baby tables and watching baby videos, and I'm like, no more babies. No. <laughs> no I'm, more babies. I'm looking at. 20 month old development because five 20, kids 20 month old and i have to accelerate her development yes she needs a absolutely. table uh, we'll get her a table honey. she doesn't have a table so like you know when she draws or whatever it's either at a, an enormous table that she can't really sit at or on the ground so All i gotta right. get her a little a little child we're gonna table. get a baby table don't you worry about that yeah. we're gonna find one and it's gonna it's gonna happen but check it out. Okay, so I have a server running. I've got a MySQL server. That's a database where we're holding stuff. Um, you're trying to create Octopath Traveler with uh, MV3D. That's going to be rough, man. <laughs> MV3D is kind of, kind of a, okay, a hit show or us, miss. Go, go on our Discord and show us, yeah, bro. Like, show us what you're doing. Girl, I want to see. Boy, I want to see. I don't know if you're a girl boy, but yeah. it doesn't matter, girl boy. Boy, girl, boy, girl. They. Bigga, 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 they bigga. go to the server. Okay. Join us on the Discord. Like I said. Show us what you're doing. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning I in today. Hope you have a How's it going, everybody? Buddy, 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 buddy. Come join us on the Discord and show in the self-promo what you've been up to. I love to see that stuff. Waffles, There's another Waffles channel. says six is better than five. I don't want, I no, I want a million more kids. I don't want to be pregnant again. 
It put me in a wheelchair last time. I was pushing T through Chinatown for like three <laughs> hours. I don't want her in a wheelchair either. Yeah. She's got could... this weird, like, really uh, flexy bone structure thing. When, yeah. If she gets pregnant. Loose ligaments. Loose ligaments. And mm -hmm. she can't even walk or, like, things start detaching and Most stuff. Most people like, know it as uh, double jointed. Yeah. When people are called double jointed, they have a condition where their, their ligaments are loose. And so the joints are able to move around more than they should, which is bad when you're holding a baby inside you for nine months. Vino, no, it's not time to adopt. I've already adopted four kids. <laughs> I've adopted four kids and had one of my no, own. No, man, I'm banking on grandbabies. When you have four kids, you, you could be pretty sure that you are five kids. Gosh, I, I have so many, I lost count. When you have five kids... You, you could pretty much bank on having grandkids at some point. Make it all seven. Make it seven and call them the deadly sins. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, though. If you had seven kids, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and plus I have a, hu a huge community of people that we could adopt. There's a lot of adult-sized kids. I agree with you on that, Vino. So I've got, yeah, I've got Socket.io now. We took Faye out. We put in Socket.io. We're using jQuery. We're using Express. And of course, Node.js. Uh, this is a Chromium thing. If you guys didn't know, MZ and MV, they run off of a Chromium node uh, thing. Uh, what is it called? Runtime environment, I suppose. And uh, yeah, and we modified the HTML and uh, put in um, some CSS. And we've got a little chat box in here. Uh, but we also have it running localhost right now, but you could just change the you can host it somewhere and uh, <laughs> Waffles accepts the donation How many actors not are the default donation. number in MZ? That's not what he you said. can replace them with your kids. He didn't say that Well, no, it, he didn't accept a donation Huh? What he are talking accepted about? adoption. That's what I said. No, you didn't. I said accept a donation. <laughs> yeah Accepted ad adoption <laughs> Waffles accepts the donation of fatherhood. I'm donating okay. my fatherhood. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Donating my fatherhood. I wonder so what that out. translates to. Check it out. This is an HTTP window, and it will send data to the server. And if I press enter, boom, it sends a message to the server. And we've got the same thing happen. This is a... Oh, but the problem with this is I have to mute out the... The button presses. I have. I have to. Like right now, they're blah 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 blah. This is my old thing that's still trying to do to Discord, but it's not. This is a socket.io node window, and also Aslo. Damn it! Sends data to the server, and boom. So that sends to the server. What I want to do today is uh, modify the code a little bit. Um, maybe to steal Vino's um, code uh, a little bit to do a certain thing where I block out the keys. He showed me how he did it last night. I was talking in the MZ MMO uh, chat. I take donations too if you want to donate so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I donate my time to you, Waffles. What more do you want? How's it going, everybody? McGass, oh, double jointed to your joints lock sometimes. No, thank goodness. Hopefully they never do. Joint lock. I don't really mess with it too much because, like, I'm. I keep thinking as I get older, it's probably just gonna get worse. So I try and just not stretch them out too much. So we'll have something like that. Command args, 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 args. Don't steal Vino's code; it'll be rigged. <laughs> well, it's the idea. Like I, I mentioned, I needed that thing. To, I needed to do something like that. I hadn't looked into options for doing it yet. And then Vino's like, "I finished my plugin." I don't know how Vino finds time. Like Vino, you work so fast. You make the coolest shit, and you make it so quick. It blows my mind. And so I was like, I'm thinking, I need to do something so that when I type, like you know, right now I'm locked in the screen, but I don't have the the keys. Um, like so, if, like for example, if I press Escape, um, normally if I was wasn't in an auto run locking the player up on purpose it would open the menu or if I hit spacebar it would do the confirmation um, and so Vino basically made a console plugin two dollar super chat from Vino speaking of Vino you're welcome to steal all my console plugin code I am not <laughs> I'm not gonna steal all of it but I am going to look at the way that you um, disable the the game's keys while the console's open so um, I guess if this is being selected, if you're currently in this, it's going to disable the keys and you press enter, it will, um, when you click off of it, it will, it will re-enable the keyboard for the game, like pause the game when you click on it. So we're going to check out Vino's plugin pretty soon. 
But first, I need to get to the next point. Oh, look, Drifty just uploaded a console plugin. <laughs> the day after Vino uploads his. No. No. Nah, it's not going to happen. To, to Vino goes the credit. This is something else, though, that I've been working on with Socket.io. So, yeah, I'm going to just basically... Um, I'm following a tutorial, like I recommend people doing. But before we get into that, I want to mention something. I want to go over here to SoundCloud and talk about Juzy for a second. Because we did the month of giving, and Juzy sent us $150. And Juzy said, I want you to keep $50, and then I want you to do a $100 giveaway. And I was like, whoa, bro, that's freaking awesome. And and we really appreciate Juzy for doing that. Yeah. Um, and then we're, at, or this was like on the 5th of December or yeah, something. Yeah, early on, early on. And then the Juzy's like, um, he didn't, I don't think he said anything about watching a SoundCloud. And we said, hey, do you have a logo? Do you have a link that we want, you know, we, we prodded to say, do you want us to advertise something for you? And Juzy's like, yeah, sure. I have a SoundCloud that you can show. Mm -hmm. But then he's like, don't show Mega Man or Temple of Thought because you'll get a copyright claim. <laughs> so we won't do that. But we are going to show these other four songs real quick. Uh, they're not that long, so I want to go through the first four songs, the most recent songs on Juicy SoundCloud. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put a, a link in the description to Juicy SoundCloud because we didn't mention it on the last day like we, we said we were going to. We completely forgot. So I'm going to paste this in here uh, and put it like this. Link. Well, it's obviously a, jank, a link. Uh, Juicy's SoundCloud. Boom, and save that. So we're gonna any, play some of his music. Yeah. Today. So let me pause this final, uh, the RPG Maker music. <laughs> final Fantasy music. Now you guys know what we've been listening. to. I've been listening to some, <laughs> yeah, some piano collections. You can go to Theme Six to see some of the cool stuff that I've been linking. Train ride to hell. Oh my freaking freaking! I gotta open my volume mixer. Bring this down a little bit for a second, and monitor the volume levels here. It sounds very glitch. Here you go. This is supposed to be some Nintendo 16-bit, Super Nintendo stuff like that. It's very glitch. Hold on, I gotta move my coffee, gotta unplug my speakers, plug in this over here. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. Can you guys hear it? Oh yeah, it's very Nintendo. Yeah, 8-bit. I love some it. 8-bit right here. Some glitch 8-bit. Uh-huh. This is by Juzy. Link to his SoundCloud is in the description below. It's nostalgic. I'm already blowing on the cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if, you, if, you, if you load it up and you've got weird boxes and letters, just take it out, get an alcohol swab, and swab it, and then blow on it. Yeah. You'll fix it. Another trick was put the cartridge in, in But not the all the way. No, put it in. And then push it all the way to one side yeah. and then all the way to the other so the contacts would touch. Yeah. Yeah. Or just hit it. That actually did fix it half the time. Just like The punch, vibrations. Just punch it. Well, I actually took apart uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System when I was uh, going to swap meets and garage sales buying old... Um, I was on a weird kick. Uh -huh. And I was buying like old games and, and uh, Nintendo stuff. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I ended up buying a few of them. And I, I had two. One worked and one didn't. Um, and then I had I, I bought a third one, and that one also didn't work. And yeah. I'm like, shoot. So I've got a working one and two not working ones. And so I took the two not working ones apart. And then I got the uh, – one of them was, like, filled with, like, like oil or something. Like, they spilled oil in wow. it. It was the weirdest – it was gross. So I took – but the strange thing is the contacts on that one were clean. Yeah. But the contacts on the new one – or on the, on the other one I got, the one I just got, were rusty. Uh -huh. and so it wouldn't work but everything else about it was clean so i took um that back part off of it and took it basically cannibalized two of them and made another working one nice. so Ooh, yeah i like this song yeah this is good juicy this is awesome <laughs> Yeah, we're going to listen to the first four, but then we're going to stop because we don't want to get copyright claim on yeah. some of them. <laughs> Electronic, chiptune, soundtrack, video game OST, 8-bit, 16-bit, that sort of style is what we've got 
showed here. This is really good. This is I a good one. I want this in my game. Yeah. I need to make like a secret spaceship section of my game, even though it has nothing to do with it, just to play a song. Oh my like gosh, this. what's happening here? Uh oh. SoundCloud, your website's bugged, bro. I what just clicked it? like, and it's like. <laughs> Did it at least like it? Oh, it did, right? No, I have to like sign in. Oh. I don't remember my information. <laughs> I have a SoundCloud. Drifty has a SoundCloud. <laughs> I don't know, is it? He doesn't know how to get into is it. Is it this one? Does it remember my password automatically? Yeah, yeah there we go. All right. Sweet. Good, because I don't remember it. Like, like, try mastering for free. No, get out of here, SoundCloud. I'm trying to listen to this. Yeah. Two dollars super chat from Vino. Thank you, Vino. Are these for sale or free or what? Yeah, what Love are the this. terms? Do the ter are the terms listed on here somewhere? You know, I'm they're curious just about this too. No, nah, they're not. They're just basically I uploaded music, here's my music. Oh. So I don't know. Ask Juzy. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna have ask to ask Juzy. Everybody tell Juzy that your music's awesome. If you like it. If you like the music, tell him that you like it. That was the first two. Let's go to the next one. Uh Juicy theme full. This is another 90 second track. This, is, this reminds me of some uh, Black Thorn. There is no download button, right? So it's not available to download. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure if you were to contact Juicy, you can get some more information about it. Yeah. This is good. Ooh, feel that bass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Toronto, are you still here? You gotta, you gotta maybe start a SoundCloud or something, and start uploading your stuff like to make a portfolio, so yeah. people can just listen to it like this. Uh huh. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, like if you wanted to have, a, like make your music a social, more social thing, so that people can like like it and you can it keeps track of the number of people who, or number of times it's been played and it keeps track of the number of hearts it's got how many times it's been shared and whatnot or i don't know if it keeps track of that number but it, you can share it i'm sure offering him money will facilitate the process too yes that's right <laughs> I can totally hear this in the background of it. He says they're free for commercial and non-commercial. Ooh, absolutely free. But there's no download button, Juzy, so that's the problem. That one kind of cuts off abruptly. But then we, we move on to bread here. I got to remember to pause it after this one because I don't want to get copyright claimed. I have an old SoundCloud, too. It's just terrible. Don't ever look at it. It's linked somewhere on the Discord, but I don't really, <laughs> don't even, it's from so I found it ago. when I was internet stalking Drifty. I, I was into some dubstep. And he had some sexy, provocative picture when he was like 19 or something, where he's like giving sexy eyes to the camera. Oh my God. Laugh. <laughs> I don't know if it's still on there, but he was like, I'm hot. <laughs> well, everyone's going to look to their youth and cringe, I imagine. <laughs> I know for girls it's like duck face, duck face pictures. With the lips. Yeah. <laughs> That's how mine was too. Just kidding. So with guys, it's like they try and look edgy and like kind of a little I, I angry, had, I had but like, approachable at the same time. I think I know what you're talking about. I had like spiky hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a lot of gel in that day. <laughs> okay, so I, I told Juicy there was no download button, and he says, "Oh, I gotta fix that." So there might be a download button soon. Right. Check back. Yeah, check back. SoundCloud.com slash Juzy. That's J-U-Z-E-Y. Thank you so much for uh, sponsoring the month of giveaways. Um, Juzy, dropping a $100 cash prize. It was, a, it was a sick prize. And that actually went to buying somebody the Vigistella, the full um, package. Yeah. The yep. Vigistella all plugins. Uh, who was it? All I waves think plugin. It was Brian Perez. Brian Perez that got that hundred dollar all waves yep. package thanks to Juicy. Thanks to Juicy. Mm -hmm. And we didn't show the SoundCloud on that day, and that's why we're doing it now. Yeah. We have to make up for that. Uh, we're a big duty stinky turd pile. But hey, it, <laughs> we we will follow through. That we were completely overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh gosh, it was so much. I you everybody's generosity was overwhelming. 
and and it was so much to try and like so much administrative stuff to try and keep up with and that's it it in one second it cuts off and plays a copyright thing so that's going to be it for looking at great music good good stuff get that download button if you want people to download it and it'll keep track of the number of downloads too i'm pretty sure Um, i'm going to follow you following you now on uh, soundcloud with my old account I don't. I'm not very active on SoundCloud, but hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> so uh, it's another Poco Latte says there is a download button. The option is under more. Oh really? Yeah. Oh hey my Juicy. God. Hey, he's here. There we go. Your music rocks, man. Very good. He shows up as we play all of them. I know. We just finished playing all we your. Just finished the, playing the, the, the first four songs. On he's there. got some more. We can yeah. we can play a cut while well, I closed it out. It's fine. <laughs> oh, there's more. There's more uh, under the. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very good music. Anyway, we, we get a we give it some time there. Yeah. Corey Davis says Drift sent you something. Bro. Bro, did you? My freaking freaking. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Corey. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and put this in the wall of heroes. Corey is a hero. He's helped us so much. He's paid our freaking bills is what's going on here. Corey's straight paying our bills. <laughs> Corey's baller. Plus, he makes good music. He knows how to use Fruity Loops yeah, pretty well. Yeah, he's actually showed me a really good way to make my bass sound like they do in, mm-hmm. in actual... How to master the bass better. Like, he's a good instructor, too. Like, just patient, willing to show you all the stuff. Go back to things, the wait only, for you. The only complaint that I had at the time was his microphone was low quality, but he recently got a new microphone. Oh, yeah. So nice it too. sounds a lot better now. So that's good. Oh, Brian Perez is here to thank Juicy for the All Waves bundle that he won. That's awesome. It's all coming together. <laughs> <laughs> so Corey says $20... Uh, PayPal donation straight from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. He says, I plan on changing up my style starting tonight and we'll look at SoundCloud because I don't know anything about SoundCloud and YouTube won't let me send super chats for some reason. It's YouTube sucks. No, it's good. Don't, no. don't worry, YouTube. I wasn't talking bad about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I love you. I love you. Love you. It was a tick. I've got Come Tourette's. On, the, the, the I've band, got Tourette's. The band's going to make it. <laughs> so she just fell downstairs again. <laughs> I love you. I'm never going to leave you. That one, the one guy playing the guitar. I love you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. Yeah, that's too funny. <laughs> I like that one. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate it, man. I, what I love the most about that one is how happy she She's is. She's like, oh my god, <laughs> <gasps> he loved me. <laughs> <laughs> She's into it, man. Yeah. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah, I want to get to coding. I know everyone's excited to watch my keyboard get typed on. Yeah. That's words. Let's do stuff. Code st- things. We'll have some RPG Maker playing in the background. Some some music. Time to chew applesauce. No. And who? kick bubble gum. Wait, who the hell and chews applesauce? I like bubble sauce. That's that's a uh, Duke Nukem. I don't like. Said. I don't like the applesauce chewing. Your phone's making noises. This is an extended warranty. Like every day, every day. This is your second notice for your car's extended warranty. Like I'm just fucking. Can the government do something about that? I just turned my ringer off. Problem solved. Duke Nukem. Then my brother tried to call me like eight times the other day. It was no emergency apparently because when I texted him later and told he's him. He's like, I'm, I'm busy. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I'm busy, laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess you didn't need my help then. <laughs> they must be watching your stream. I don't know. You should answer those calls on stream. Like, <laughs> uh, dude, it's the same thing. Watch, he answers the call on stream It'll and they copyright a... strike him because oh, it's their content. I don't know. Wouldn't that, that be hilarious? That's no, a reach and that wouldn't be funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I need to go into VS Code here real quick. And so I've got some things happening. This is the MZ MMO from Discord uh, plugin. Uh, oh, wait, no, wait, that's over here. Which, you know, I'm not really modifying too much more. It is what it is. It sends commands back and forth between bots, and the bots talk to each other. And then, so I've got this client. I had to overwrite uh, graphics center element 
from absolute to fixed in order to get the um, this little element here to display on top of the canvas because it was like pushing the canvas up and you had like this black screen and the can the canvas was like cut half cut off anyway so I overwrote a function and just did this absolute to fixed. That's a good little trick. I found that on the forum. Actually, T found it. Thank you, V. Thank you so much, T, for, for finding that. What did I find? The the oh, overriding yeah. absolute to fix. Yeah. Otherwise, it just smushes it. Yeah, we were. She was excited about messing with CSS. I was. And we were. We were in here changing. Um, Changing these buttons around. It wasn't in this one. I showed was... him some old thing I did. The first app I did on Free, Fode, Free Code Camp, instead of using images, I made the images with CSS, and it was just stupid and ridiculous. But It was like drawing an oval and drawing circles on yeah. top of the oval with a different color background. So it looked like it was an image of clouds, but yeah. it was all done with CSS. And I was like, that's pretty legit. Pretty cool. It was cool. It was a learning experience. And then afterwards, I was like, wait, that was a really hard way of doing it. Why am I stupid? <laughs> there's no, you know, there's no reason to block those numbers because they steal other people's yeah. numbers. Yep. And call, like, they could call you from my number they if they wanted to. They used my number twice just in the past six months. I've People gotten... have called me and been like, you just called me. And what did you want? And yeah. I'm like, I did not call you. Yes, you did. I got your number on blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, look, it's probably a robot. It's a bot. They just... They can steal anyone's number, and I have to explain this to people every now and then. Yep. Uh, and um, yeah, if if uh, if my number calls you, it's it's probably not me calling because I don't call anyone. <laughs> That's it. True story, I, bro. I have it for texting and like looking at Discord when I'm not at home. That's basically why I have my data plan. Yeah. Boom boom. So this is the uh, the index HTML, and it doesn't like this from default. It's just uh, now I'm I'm calling in jQuery and, and socket IO, and before the main JS, because if you do these after main JS, then it just shows a white screen and doesn't work. But then I'm running some uh, some JS inside of here as well. The only way is to get everyone to agree on an over uh, overhaul. Yeah, I don't think that'll. It's never gonna happen, Vino. They can't agree on anything. Like, even right now, they can't even agree on who's actually president. It's crazy. And I'm not even gonna touch that can of worms. I stay away from that when I can. I separated that so that it's easier to read. <clears throat> but I think it looks, it's probably better if I just do like that. So I have it running um, on a solid state drive, the servers, and that's how I'm able to communicate. But what I want to do is when I send a message, it doesn't just go to the server. <coughs> Excuse me. It sends it to the client from the server, from the client to the server, and then from the server, it pings it to the clients. So I'm going to write that in uh, now, following the tutorial, essentially. So that'll be modifying the client plugin, uh, the server code, probably, and two different index HTML. So I'm actually. <clears throat> I'm actually building two programs right now. I'm doing one for the HTP, HTTP and one for RPG Maker MZ. Juicy says, yeah, they should be downloadable now. Thank you for the kind words, everyone. Put a huge smile on my face. Awesome. Thank you so much, Juicy. You've been very um, generous, and we appreciate you. Yeah. T, let me know if you see a Super Chat pop in as soon as I switch over, because sometimes okay. I just switch to a different tab. I think we have Color Theory here, but it's color hard humor. to say. Pocket Humor. Pocket Theories. Let me see. Hold on. Dragon gonna, Humor Color Pocket. I'm going to translate this name real quick, because I don't read kanji. I don't know what it is. What is it? Hiriana. Is it? It's probably kanji. The late. Okay, the so late. your name translates to the late. I don't know if that's what you're going for in, in English, but Yigu. That's what it is in Chinese. Yigu, Yigu Wagyu. Yigu. Wagyu Yigu. Yigu. I oh, like. deceased. Dead. Ah. The name means dead. Your name is dead. Bruh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I'm moving on to broadcasting and I'm, I'm following the official socket IO Wait. getting started thing. Vero Claus says it means cherry forest. That's not what Google Translate's telling me. Cherry forest. It's maybe very, using, very different. Maybe you're using a different. Uh, chi it's Chinese, right? It's Chinese. It's exactly yeah. the same. I'm looking at the two right now. They're the it's same. Not Hiragana, then. It doesn't mean cherry forest according to Google. It means dead. Ooh. 
The next goal is for us to emit the event from the server to the rest of the users. In order to send an event to everyone, Socket.io gives us the io.emit method. And then it gives me some code, which I will write in. This is going to be on the server side, right? So let's go ahead and emit from the server plugin. Um, it shows examples, but it's like my stuff looks different than these examples because I've been taking pieces and, and doing stuff commenting out and whatnot so io dot emit where am i going to put io it'd be on connection i would i would imagine right so somewhere in here i would probably do socket <clears throat> dot emit no, no no io okay so it wouldn't be inside of here it would be a new thing it would be underneath on so it's because we're using io dot emit Let's see, um, some event, that might be a keyword, not sure yet, some property, some value, okay, these aren't keywords, maybe they are, other property, I think we can just, I'm going to follow it, you know, follow the tutorial and whatnot. And that's opening that, yada, 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 closing that. And then the comments on this says, this will emit the event to all connected sockets. Learning socket IO with Drifty, live on YouTube now. If you want to send a message to everyone, except for a certain certain emitting socket, we have the broadcast flag for emitting from, this, from that socket. <coughs> Excuse me. io.on connection socket, which I already have this, so I've got this arrow function here. Socket.broadcast.emit high. So I think when the socket, when it, when, the, when it connects, it will send high to everyone. That's what I think. So let's try that. Let's try the broadcast in here. Socket.broadcast. Oh, dot emit. So we're still using emit, just on broadcast. And we want it to emit ha hello from the server. This is not what it says here, but it's okay. And of course, oh wait, this is inside of the connection thing, yada, yada, yada. So it's, it's still gonna work, I believe, yeah. <clears throat> All right. In this case, for the sake of simplicity, we'll send the message to everyone, including the sender. So once again, it's putting inside of here, socket on chat message message, which is inside of here. Io dot admit uh, emit after the console. We'll say io dot emit chat message. See that is a keyword though, All right? Message. On connection, which is where we we are inside the connection, so da 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 da, and then on chat message, we're inside there, and then we use admit emit, we put that in there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I think that's I think that's good. All right, and on the client side, when we capture a chat message event, we'll include it in the page. The total client-side JavaScript code now amounts to a whole bunch of stuff. But what I'm going to do is look at mine, which I had to change a little bit for the MZ. For the HTTP, it's pretty much you follow the tutorial. <coughs> Gosh darn it. You follow the tutorial, and it gives you the, the same thing. Like it works the same regardless. So what do I have here? Um, this is inside the script. <coughs> Sorry, I'm reading.
So this is HTML, and it's showing me the stuff for the client side um, JavaScript. But then it, it encapsulates it. Let me show you what I got over here. It's encapsulating it inside this, which makes me think, well, it's actually, oh, okay, client side JavaScript code, but that's actually still in the HTML. So we've got to put this stuff inside the, the index HTML. Yeah, okay, so what I have is this little section. So I'm gonna, I'm not using var because I'm using ES6 for this, so I'll use let's. Like I said, I'm changing a little bit of stuff, but nothing really that big. All right, so we'll go to the index HTML of the HTTP one, which I'm running Opera because it doesn't do weird stuff like uh, um, Chrome does for some reason. Chrome like locks you out of your own local host thing. It's so weird. <clears throat> So inside of our script, above it, I'll go ahead and add that now. Let's do let messages equal document dot get element by ID of the messages. We'll let form equal document get element by ID of what we're calling form. And the last one, let input equal the document, same thing. The reason why I type it is it helps me remember it. I do end up copy pasting, but most of the time I'm, I'm typing when I'm doing a tutorial so that I can remember it better. I have to like look at each thing slowly and I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Form add event listener. Submit function of E. Uh, we're going to open this here. E dot Prevent, is it the same thing? It's not, okay. Prevent default. Now what this one does, when you do prevent default, it stops the page from reloading every time you hit enter because what used to happen when I first got this up and running is when you would hit send, it reloads the game. So I type something, this would reload the entire game when I hit enter, boom. And the, it would just reload the whole game. And I'm like, what the frick? So that's um, the default behavior is to like refresh it. But inside this node client, we don't want the game to restart every time we send a message. So we have to do the, um, the function prevent default. And that's what that does. We can see I wrote it in here, prevent reloading. That's what the tutorial taught me. And I was like, yes. <laughs> a simple fix for a, a simple stupid fix. problem. Socket dot, oh no, 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 no. So see. I'm just rewriting some of the same stuff here. Input.value. Socket emit. Chat message. Input.value. Input.value. T, I might have, uh, I might get you excited. <laughs> Are you going to do some bit. CSS? Because remember how we had to do some CSS to shrink everything down and make it transparent? Uh huh. Well, what I'm trying to do now is make the chat show not just to the server, but to all the clients. Uh -huh. So that's going to be fine when we're looking at the Opera one and it's sending this on the. But when we send a message, and then we want to see the text on here, mm -hmm. it may we may have gotten rid of the canvas for it to show text on. 
We didn't get rid of it. We just made it transparent. So right. the text might just show, show right above it. Right. We'll yeah. see how that looks. But I'm yeah. saying, I already know how it's going to be. We're going to be like, ooh. It's going to be problematic. <laughs> well, right. It's CSS. So it's going to be prob problematic. But at the same time, we're going to be like, ooh, let's change this one thing and make this with the margin. Change the margin. Okay, let's change the border. And nothing right. changes. Well, <laughs> change it again. Nothing changes. Well, change it. Nothing changes. Eventually, you'll find the right thing to change. And then you'll get a, a difference. And you, when you see those differences it's, immediately, yeah. immediately, it's like instant gratification. Gratification. That's is. what I like about CSS. You get uh, instant gratification when you make the right changes. <laughs> Child-friendly stream, no CSS. <laughs> you you got to love and hate CSS. Yes. CSS. Yes. CSS. Yes. We do that. We do that. We do want to end line on this to say that's that's done. Done. Then we're gonna say socket dot on. Um, chat message. So when we send chat message, function message. Uh, let item equal document dot create element li. So we're creating a new element? Oh, oh no, li. That's a, uh, okay. Item dot text content equal message oh they're very easy Vaseline I agree uh, easy to learn the principles but then when you're trying to build something like say a tic-tac-toe board or calculator with buttons on top of a body in a grid pattern with CSS like there's just different instances of trying to build a layout with it that's when you that's when you learn the true hate <laughs> you, you you discover how deep your hatred can be you turn to the dark side <laughs> After you've tried to move one stupid box over for an entire day and, and the code for all the other boxes underneath it is the same and they look right, but this one bo box won't move no matter what you do. It's when you yeet your window out of your... Yeah, you, eat, you yeet your window out of your computer. Yes. <laughs> you yeet windows I'm staying with that. right out of it. <laughs> I've been doing this. When I take code out now, I just paste it to some text file and that helps me. If I mess up and I need to bring it back in, I don't have to remember what the frick I did. I just paste it back in, so that, that helps me a little bit. All right, so this one is for the server, which should be pretty clean and just update and work right. Let's, uh, let's reload that and see if that fixed that. And that completes our chat application at about 20 lines of code, and this is what it would look like. Yada yada yada. Okay, so let's let's reload. Boom. Let's open up our server. When I reload it, it'll show that we've disconnected. Testing. Oh wait. Uh, where's my I/O? I have to tell it where to send things again. Um, did I do a dum dum? Yeah, this is why I didn't just delete it, because I'm like, I need to look at my thing again. <laughs> Drifty. Need Do to that look at, in private. Look at my thing again. <laughs> Let's socket. Uh, oh, I got to do. Okay, where is that at? Connecting. This is our, the address that I'm currently using. Boom. Where's my um, socket.io connection? Oh gosh, thing? Sir Legna, please don't tell me that's true. Not all browsers display CSS the same. That's unacceptable. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so you have to make it you have to make it responsive for all the different billion trillion different screen sizes out there, which by the way, I absolutely refuse to make anything responsive to a stupid smartwatch. I will never do it. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> But now you have to also take into consideration the differences between browsers? Yes. No! Yes. Unacceptable. Man, why does it butcher it when I try to put it back in here? I'm like, I just, I copied it from here. Yo. Yeah, but Vino, what if somebody plays RPG Maker on a tiny screen? Does it still look good? Did you try, like, did you check out the responsiveness? 
It can totally wreck everything. Or if somebody not... plays it on a giant screen, it can look ridiculous. This is not right. I missed something. I'm missing a... What's going on? I messed something up. Uh-oh. I'm not telling the server where to send again. And I thought I would need... Uh, <clears throat> I thought this would include the I.O. Apparently it's not, though. You got an, uh, something's not being closed right. Yeah, I know. Script line up here. Where does, okay, hold up. This one was supposed to be closing. You need one here. That's what I thought. Yeah. And then it said, no, you're wrong, you big, dumb, fat, no, dumb boy. definitely need one there. Okay, because we got one opening and closing here. We got one opening and closing here. Then we need one opening and closing here. Oh, hey, you fixed it. How'd you do that? Well, it was a thing. How are you... What? That doesn't even make any sense, what's happening there. My brain hurts. And then this one... You're absolutely missing one. There's nothing closing this one. Yeah, there is. It's right here. You see? Oh. And then this one's right here. Oh, okay. Yep, you're right. It's, it's just the spacing. It messes yep. you up. That's why you want to follow, like, the same spacing rules ooh yeah I, I can't like make something that's not responsive but like I said I will not make a watch app $5 super chat from Vino thank you so much Vino I appreciate that he goes worst T Google bots scan our websites to check for mobile format vi viability and gives you a rating. If it's a low rating, it won't show in mm -hmm. search results. So it messes up your SEO yeah. as well. That's yeah. You know what? Savage. I get. I, I have to say, I kind of agree with that because how many? I mean, I've opened websites before and like you can't read the other half of like there's an informational box and you can only read half of it and it's infuriating. It's like, come on, just, just make it right and i get so mad so i'm kind of glad that that happens honestly give me responsive mm. websites everyone that i build is responsive and everyone that everybody else else builds should be responsive okay maybe i just put in the address here i didn't do that before on the http one and it just worked but <laughs> let me do it this time Oh, I need. Oh, this. I knew about that, Sir Legna. Is that all you have to do to fix it? I already put in the Mazda and the WebKit. I thought it was like harder than that. Is, is, is there more than Mazda and WebKit? I broke it. <clears throat> I broke it again. Oh. This is the nature of things. <laughs> you add new stuff and it breaks everything. Well, at least you All did it on stream so that you can go back and watch what you broke if you need to. Well, I added in this, which is the tutorial show. And it's like, this is what your final thing should look like. And uh -huh. I'm like, okay, easy. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah. Then, so I'm like, okay. So since we're doing some of this up here, we can also get rid of the stuff down here. No, you can't get rid of it. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I have to specify the location to send it to since, you know, IO needs a location and on the Node application, but uh, not on the browser. And so I was like, well, let me put it like this. And it doesn't seem to do shit still. So it told me I disconnected like I put it in. So it was going to disconnect. And, and then it doesn't say I've reconnected on refresh, and nor does it let the text send anymore. Huh. So I'm trying to figure out. With my limited socket I.O. Wait, well, you have, two, you have two submit functions. And on yes, the top one, you're not, I, you're not identifying the HTML that it goes with. So it may actually be working, but it's not going to go anywhere because it's not it's not actually connected to anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're, so I can get rid of this whole function here, right? Right, but you see how you're calling form and you're calling n there mm -hmm. to show where on the HTML yeah, to yeah. Like, it pop up? You don't have any of that there. Right. So I'm trying to figure out... Um, where inside these three new paragraphs, I mean, this is definitions, would I include this? I don't know. It's a different format. I'm looking. It's different. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> Add I mean, listener event like it would have to submit. To be Should I put this code inside the plugin? I don't know. You, you know, where's, like... Where's submit defined? Is that just a, a method? What is submit? I think that means when the button is clicked or you press enter. I know, but like, where is it defined? Up here, this one. Where is that? 
Um, I, that's that's like a keyword. Okay. Yeah, like chat message is a keyword. It's like on message or. I wonder if it's actually this. Form. Yeah, like it's it should be. It should be form instead of submit. Well, I mean that's strange because let's look at this little tutorial we got mm -hmm. over here. This is what it's telling us to type. Right. On the client site, when we capture a chat message event, we'll include it in the page. The total client side JavaScript code now amounts to the total client side. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm. Can you scroll up and see what it said to do before? <clears throat> I'm gonna get some water. Okay. You can read this. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna scan it. I'm gonna and go see if I can figure it. anything out. Oh, here's form. Add event listener. I still don't see where some that came from. Yeah, I'm just going back because I still don't see where submit came from. Where the heck did submit come from? It means, as far as I could see, it means nothing. Submit is just like a met, a chat message. It's a keyword, just like in, um, like this connection. That's it's a it's like a keyword key value that like it's a, it causes the trigger. It's the trigger. Mm -hmm. So like when I O on connection, like that, that's a connection is another trigger. It's a keyword that m means when the server, when the client has right. pinged the server, okay. it, it okay. does, it activates, it triggers. I so I think submit, it's just another trigger. Yeah, so it, right. it's a, it's a event listener trigger. So it's saying on the form when the event listener, um, it's the submit button has been clicked or pressed enter run the function. That's what I believe it to be. So the form, when submitted, run function of, of E, function E. And then E, prevent default, so that doesn't cause it to reload. Socket emit the chat message. This is what we had and it works, right? So this would send it to the server, mm -hmm. this little section where you're highlighting. The stuff I just added, which is what we want to include to make it send it to the other clients that are connected to the server, all the clients that are connected to the server. That's the stuff we just added, but um, that those three things by themselves do not do anything. Try changing input to this. Where? The document. I I don't know. Like I, to me, I'm just wondering how you're connecting to the HTML, uh -huh. the actual form that's, yeah. that's people are typing into, because right. it has an ID for a reason. Right. The and message, we're not using the ID at all up here. The, it's ID'd by M. Yeah, and right so, here. And, and that's another thing. I'm like, it doesn't have a, a location. And form. It's got two IDs that we were using down there that we're not using up here. But I'm wondering, does this just automatically grab it without the ID? But it says get element by ID, and it says input. Change this to M. I don't think it's. I don't think it's actually set up to the to the IDs that you have. But I mean, down here we're in socket emit, we're identifying it with jQuery. We're using the dollar sign yeah. and a hashtag. Yeah. Up here, we're defining it with document get element by ID. So do you, well, I mean, well, do do you, you, does it have the ID input? Can you go to the, to the HTML and does it have? This is the HTML file we're in right now. Where's the HTML code? Form input. Form input, so it's identified this thing. But is that an ID? Input is is the name of this form. Mm -hmm. Form button, form input. It's a type. It's a type. Yeah. It's a type. Yeah. 
This is the text box thing. Yeah. Form has the ID nothing. Input has the ID M. Look at this. Form doesn't have any ID. Maybe add input as an ID on the form. Just try that. Put ID equals up on the form, the first, the, this the one? opening. This one? Nope. Right here. What? The this. Frick? Why did that pop up? I have no idea. Form action? No, not in there. Add another one. Put okay. a space. Type form equals uh, parentheses input. Yeah. I don't, I don't Do know. Do you if want you a comma this don't, or don't in? Don't put spaces in between there. Get rid of those spaces. What spaces? In between the, yeah. Get rid of those. Because the space is how you, you separate the two different things. So don't add are you sh Are you sure? Yeah. It seems like there needs look to be at, a look comma. At, look at it input. It's just the space that separates it. You're right. Okay. Well, so it's, I don't know form action. Form is as the same input as, but maybe you're right. I don't know. I'm Listen, just, I'm I don't, just trying stuff. I've, I'm okay for the. I'm okay to try. Let's keep going. Uh, where's this stupid box at? It's uh, the server, which is, I have a million things open. Like, geez. So no, it would it would if it works when I refresh it'll say a client has connected, mm -hmm. and then like when you refresh again it'll say disconnected reconnected or has connected. Drifty sent. No, no Vino. Vino sent too drifty. Two dollar super chat from Vino. Thank you so much, Vino. Discord message. Not sure if it's related to your issue. Okay. Well, yeah, he's saying the same thing I am, that you had to assign an ID, which we just assigned the ID. There was another one, though. We can assign that as well, because we only assigned one out of the two. Um, so the other one is form. So add that to form, the ID form to form. I'm sorry, what now? Or did we already do that? Input. Um, let me look. Which one did we just add? Oh, change that to form. Change this. Oh, wait a minute. So I, I told you to do it wrong. Make that ID. Uh -huh. I'm a big dummy. Turn okay. that to ID. Okay. ID. Change this to form. ID equals form. Yep. And then in input, change M to input. Input. Yeah. Try that. So now we're re-identifying it. Mm -hmm. We're not so calling it. So you have to comment out that other code because it might give you an uh, error. Yes. Okay. Since we're inside script, I could just do this. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of cutting it out, and pasting it. Beautiful. So right. try try that. Okay. Let's do that. Refresh. What did the server say? Disconnected. It doesn't say anything. So okay. it, it didn't do anything. Not still broken. It doesn't even send anymore. But that's the connection. So this would just be how to send it. Go back to the code. What we were just messing with would just send it. But where is it connecting? Let socket IO equal See, IO. I had, uh, yeah, it's not connecting anymore. Because I, I put this in here. And for some reason, HTML didn't even need that. Because I just typed in the address. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if you have to add that variable. Let socket IO equal IO the address somewhere up here yeah let's try that let's let's uh, copy this and at the top also identify this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i agree with this I mean, we're not actually calling io anywhere no so where were you calling it before um nowhere but you needed to have that in there we were calling it right here in socket because socket was IO address. Oh, right, right. Socket.emit. Yeah, yeah so you're calling it up here. We're calling it in socket. Yeah, so oh, that right. might be it. So we needed to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the tutorial is purposely doing this because it did this <laughs> earlier. Like, it didn't show you everything. It's like, get good, scrub. It's like, you need to figure out why this doesn't work. <laughs> you know, it forces you to learn. Uh huh. Which is okay. It didn't change. It no. doesn't change anything. That stinks. This time, it did, uh, it does take the input. You see how it erases it? Wasn't it wasn't doing it before? Nah, it was like just not even okay. taking that. So it did need to be identified. Right. So it, do we have a change? Sir Legna says, definitely look up query selectors to help determine which elements are being referenced. What are query selectors? Is that like checking all references in JS? Checking definitions and stuff? Hmm. Hmm. Problem solving. Another $2 for Vino. Thank you, Vino. Bruh. 
armed gunmen at the house floor. It's on TV. Yeah. Lovely. Well, yeah. not, we won't bring that into the stream. The stream is where we can go to escape from all this the This is my safe place, Vino. Yeah. This is my safe place. I like looking at letters on the screen. That's the safe <laughs> for me. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But you did pay, and I will read that. So, why is it not connecting? That's the big bum bums. Why are you not? It do not do the workies. All right. I want to try something. Okay, I want to try something. Let me. Oh wait, no. Okay, never wait, mind. wait. Nope, nope. No, I thought I maybe thought of something, but I, the thought ran away. Okay, so let me revert our changes, because you know when you do a change and it doesn't do a difference or work, uh -huh. probably not a good idea to leave that shit in there. So. I wonder, because this one. Uh, was inside the function that called put that let in here like right there well here's the thing t because of the scope of this socket will still be identified inside of this function because it's outside of it yeah it's more of a global thing here if i put it inside here it will work the same as if i had it up here right and it would have to be anyways because it's referenced down here too yeah and if i put it in here then we'd have a scoping issue referencing it on the next one why didn't they give us an error saying that socket wasn't defined where's your console for this um i could open a console yeah open a console and see if you get an error saying that socket's not defined that's a good idea well, not, now we... that you now that you didn't gray it out let's it's gonna do be that defined. okay let's go i i put it back yeah let's open the console here Inspect element and go to the console. Oh, yeah, we're getting tons of errors. Oh, son of a bitch. We're getting tons of errors right here. Come on, Opera. Yeah, hey, that's some good stuff right there. What's going on? Uh, access to XML HTTP request huh. has um, been blocked. No access control allow origin header. Oh, you need a header. Oh, I love this. This is great. Access control allow origin header. Let me Google. Access control yeah. allow origin header. I had to add like three headers to get mine to work. Okay, so maybe and it's working. And it essentially working. made it so that my little website had no security whatsoever. <laughs> shh, shh. Okay. I didn't say that. No, I heard that. It was a local, it's a local thing, okay? Allow origin. No, 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 no. That's not the thing. Header. Error. We just have to define access control allow origin and then put in localhost. <laughs> Using a wildcard to allow all sites to access is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just needed it to work so I could work on my code. I was like, I'll fix this later. We'll not use a wildcard then. Yeah. We'll just specifically say access control allow origin, origin list. So we use header set. The exact directive for setting headers depends on your web server in apache blah 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 we're not using apache that's that's a uh, firefox the command to set up this header is add header access allow control origin list Header set or Nginx. Okay, that's just two different ways to write it. Let's try this, okay. Where do I even put that? I don't even know where to put it. That's what she said. Corey Davis said, sent you something. My dude, you did.
I suppose I can leave the tutorial thing up, huh? <laughs> Corey Davis, thank you so much. $10 super chat. I'll just go ahead and put this right in where it needs to be in the wall of heroes. Real quick. Real quick update. 10 bucks from Corey Davis. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate that money, man. He says, dude, this chick is checking me at the shipper is what's up. If she wasn't married, I'd shoot my shot. <laughs> See, Corey's a good man. He knows. He's not, he's not trying to be a home wrecker here. Thank you, T. You're welcome. Corey sent us 10 bucks. Thank you, Corey. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. So, T, mm -hmm. I'm kind of lost. I need to do a lot of reading. I think we should call it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this pear, and I'm going to look up Core's header. Before we leave, we should check out um, Vino's plugin. Did he send it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on his website. Yeah. Let's All give right. it a look-see. Okay, I like that idea. Let's do that. VinoGames.com, everybody. Mmm... MZ plugins. The new one, MZ console, download. Oh no, it's a virus. I can't, I gotta discard it. Just kidding. That's fine. It's not a virus. Give me that. Give me that sweet, delicious console plugin. Uh, put it in the new, put it in the big project. JS plugins. MZ mama. MZ, mama. Let's take a break from looking at all that text. Let me go to the plugin manager here. What did he name it? Does it start with Vino? Vino MZ console. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Allows the player access to an in-game console, command console. Cool. Let's look at the parameters. General settings. Tiny mode true. Shrinks the console text window size to a smaller, less invasive style. Console height 8. I'm going to leave mostly default here. All the hex color codes we can put in. Input default box console. Okay. The brightness auto clear console. False. Custom console settings. Bruno says T is on the list now, too. What list? Is it the nice list? It better not be the naughty list. Custom console mode 2, false. Recognize only custom commands. Prevents JS in console and recognizes only custom commands. Instructions in the help file. Yeah, let's do that one. Mm-hmm. No, I'll leave it off right now to test it. Commands that you want to put in. Oh, Vino put my plugins on his website. Awesome. Nice. Thank you, Vino. Auto close console. Automatically close it. And force mode one. All right. So what is the button to bring it up? No battle scene console. How to open it. Plugin command open MZ console. Script call scene manager that go to that scene underscore con base. That's cool. Okay. Plugin is completely free. Default console modified.
you <laughs> he uh, overwrote console dot log but it's cons console dot standard log to bypass it the only change is this plugin reads your console log so that's not a big deal i don't even need to mess with it it's fine that's cool so here's what i'm thinking let's combine this with the vigistella thing the um where is it at button common events and let's pick a button i guess i'll use like the tilde key this one um and we'll call a common event Let's call common event 12 when I press this button. Simple. And then inside common event 12, I'm gonna do Vino's console. And then inside here, we just do plug and command. And we open MZ console. Press escape to leave anytime. And that's how that'll work. So we go in a game, test this out. Oh, I'm already playing it. I had to restart. Yada yada, it's not going to do the da, 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 no Discord stuff, no Discord stuff. That's the other thing. So now if I press the tilde key, Oh, I'm, in, I'm locked. I got myself locked up. I actually have to start the update on this project, which is fine. I needed to do it anyway. So right here, I don't even need this event. I don't need it. This is, this is all for the Discord thing. So we're going to cut creation. We're going to go to event storage. I'll put it up here. Boom. Now I'll put it over here. It's safer right there. I'm going to actually put a thing on here. Okay, that's event creation. All I have to do is be teleported in here to make that work, so that's fine. What we'll do is start the player in here. Oh, gosh, not paste. <laughs> start the player here. Oh, it, it, that's my fault. <laughs> Poor that's, Vino. That's my fault. <laughs> it's all good. It was just locked, that's yeah. all. Couldn't you could do it here, yeah? Oh shit! Ooh, there we go. Very nice. So I walk around. And oh, I, I hit, like how the back blurs when you have it. It pauses the game legit. That is so cool. So I can type in. Um, I can just do console. Dot log. Test. And it it did console that log right there. Cool. Console record file not found. Creating new file. And it's oh because he's creating a, a log. For it. That is so cool. Okay, let's do like a game party dot gold dot add gold gain gold. Give me ten thousand goldies. <laughs> hey. We got ten thousand goldies, baby. That is so cool. So you could, like, if you wanted to, you can make a game based around this mechanic where people have to console log their stuff, but, like, every every type of change, depending on the range or something, would have consequences in the game. Mm. Let's test to they see. They could give themselves infinite money, but then, like, their mom dies. I want to I wanna test to see if we put <laughs> the other mode on. We say custom mode on so that those command, no console commands will work. You can't change variables and whatnot. And turn that off. This is a feature that I needed, and Vino put it in. Vino, when you release a plugin, it immediately breaks. Don't you know how this works? Yeah, that's this is this is normal. This is kosher. Exactly We're how it's supposed gold. to happen. We're gonna gain gold. And this time, it shouldn't give it to us. It doesn't. So that works. <laughs> yeah. So the only way that the custom mode works is you you input special commands. So let's put a special command in and test to see if it still works. Command list. Here we go. Command name. Give me gold. Like that. It's gonna be. Oh no no no! Someone's got to get this. It'll be glittering prizes. <laughs> Vaseline says, "Easy, Vino. If someone can break it, it's drifty." <laughs> Allow arguments. False. So it's just one command. Glittering prizes. Response. Command accepted. You gain gold 
Vino says, try putting in a, a different hex color for the background. See, uh, our in our project, we messed with the canvas, so it may have something to do with it. If you mm -hmm. also mess with the canvas, they may have incompatible things happening. Conflicting things. Yeah. And people that are doing this type of project are probably going to be messing with the canvas, so it's definitely something you'd want to consider. Okay. So if you put in glittering prizes, it's going to run command common event 13. I have an idea for you, Vino. Uh, I'll just put con glittering prizes. Now, let's see. Um, Vino's console command, BCC, glittering prizes. Is it capital sensitive for one? Um, you should make a toggle. To make it uh, make it so that commands will will or will not be capital sensitive, case sensitive. Another thing you could do is instead of forcing it to run a common event, just make it um, like, will allow the option to run a common event. Obviously, because that'd be better. But also say common event true or false, script call true or false, or or just have it even do both if you want. Uh, and also, Vino, did you alias when you messed with the canvas? Because that has something like. If you're trying to overwrite it, then you overwrite their changes. Corey says it's Static's fault, and he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's still sour that Static hated that song. <laughs> I'm going to do arguments in a second. Hold on. I, I had a couple recommendations for Vino to add the option to just do a script call instead of a common event, but keep the common event option. And inside here, I was going to do party game gold. So just, give me 100,000 million golds. Okay, let's test to see if it works. I also asked about um, canvas, not canvas, uh, I forgot, whatever, my brain's hurt. Uh, glittering pri, oh, caps, case sensitive. Didn't do it. Glittering prizes. Did I do exclamation mark? No, I didn't. Uh, glittering prizes. It's not sending the thing. Nah, it's not working. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh shit, it wasn't... Oh yeah, it was supposed to tell me something if I sent it right. Try editing the background color. Is that what he's saying? Console background color? Alright, let me get a picker. We're going to do. That's white. Yep. I'm going to make it eye brandingly yep. bright. Yep. I, <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Um, command list glittering prizes. Maybe it's because I put two words. Let's just type in glittering prizes with one word. Okay. Okay. Yep. Command accepted. You gain gold. Cool. It would be cool if it shows the command, the, the console log inside this little bubble box. Was that what I, is it supposed to do? I think it's supposed to. Yeah. It's. You know what? Can we try something? Mm-hmm. Can we get rid of our canvas changes or just comment it out for a minute in your plugin? No. And see if it shows up? Hell no. Come on. I can start a new project. Just comment it out and then turn it back on nope. after. Why? Mm -mm. Because it's too much shit. Look it, I'll show you. I don't want to mess with it. Look, I got it working. I don't want to mess with it. We can do it though. Right here. No, not that. What are the, you talking about? The part then? where you change the canvas in your plugin. The the RPG Maker canvas. That. Just comment that out for a minute and say. Don't that. overwrite the absolute position. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll make the bottom box look funky, but let's see if Vino's. It's gonna up. completely mess it up. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's just for testing purposes. I don't it want you to keep even... it that way. It won't even. Okay. 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 Absolutely. Just to see if that's what's making. I just it want not you to know up. what you're in for. Oh 
<laughs> when I was missing. Oh no, it's gonna make the screen squish halfway. Like it's it's yes. gonna show the entire screen in the top half. So yes. if your box does show up, you know it's gonna be squished. But we'll be able so, to see if it shows up. When I was messing with NPM Node Package Manager the other day. It said, I sure hope you know what you're doing. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I was installing different. <laughs> I know. It was very scary. It yelled at us. <laughs> it's like, are you sure you want to force fix audit? I'm like, I, 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 yes, dash dash force. And it's like, I sure hope you know what you're doing. And it like literally said that in the node package manager as it's installing and overriding a version. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know. So I got to replace it because we changed here and we had to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get ready for the bork now. Oh, it's going to bork it. We already know that, though. Yay. So open the console and see if it opens the background. Okay. Nope. So that's not it. Us messing with the canvas is not making it so it doesn't show up. I wanted to know that. Okay. So now you can put the canvas back. Okay. I went to Texas for like, what? How long did it take for us to drive through, through Texas? Like two hours? A few hours. Yeah. I was in Texas for two hours. Three, maybe. Stopped at a, at a rest maybe stop. Maybe got gas. It was six degrees out, freezing. Not what I expected in Texas. And yeah. there was signs saying, watch out for rattlesnakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. It was dark, too. Mm -hmm. So we drove through the darkness. Yeah. Darkness. We didn't really, we didn't really get to see Texas, We didn't. We didn't se. see much of Texas. <laughs> Dark and cold, that was my experience. Not what I thought of Texas <laughs> in my mind. Anyway. Yeah, you know, anything specific you want me to test real quick? With your with your plugin? It yeah. did it did work, but it didn't tell me in game that it worked, so the player wouldn't know. Uh, that unless they had the console open, which it, would defeat the purpose, really, right? It's so hard when your plugin doesn't work um, for somebody else, but it works for you. Because how do you like test it and fix it? Yeah, that's really, the worst. really like. Uh, it, I also saw no difference when I changed the background color. Like yeah. I, I didn't do anything, but, but it's po quite possibly because we're messing with so many things in this specific project. Mm -hmm. And HUDmaker, like, what does HUDmaker do too? Because I'm sure that messes with the canvas. HUD, right it... now, I'm not doing nothing with HUDmaker. Yeah, but it's on, right? Uh, well, I mean, technically it's on, but if you look at it, I'm not telling it to do anything. Right. We're not even going into battle. It's doing nothing in this project. Mm -hmm. Like, I had to turn all of that off because it was crashing at... Uh, that was because I took a project from Discord that was looking for functions that were for a Discord plugin and it's not using that plugin. So it's, you know, that was my fault. And so it's like, okay, let me undo all the stuff for Discord since we're starting with Socket and, and start from scratch. But mm -hmm. I haven't even got into connecting it and sending signals back and forth yet. Yeah. And then, so I haven't started the actual game dev. It's more or less, more or less like the technical aspects of making them talk to each other. Mm -hmm. It's not HUDmaker, yeah. And I doubt it's any Visualstella plugins. It's most likely our edits to the index HTML. I, I would think that. You know what I can do? Hmm. Uh, I can go on Vino's website and get it. Check it out. This browser is still failing to connect like constantly. <laughs> it's like, you're not authorized. You're not authorized. You're not authorized to connect. I'm going to see if it works on the project, the, the plugin project that I'm using right now. Here's what I'm going to do. Plugins. I'm going to take a step back inside the index HTML. I'm going to cut out. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut out the new stuff that we added in the script. I'm just cut it out for now. I'll retype it or put it back in. I'll put this in the clipboard. Nice and easy in the clipboard. Boom, separated, good and go. I want to get it, I want to get this one at least back to working form for now. Oh, Sir Legna says, I know what my plug-in stream will be when I buy that first impression. Just me in a corner crying. <laughs> no, it'll work perfectly. 
It'll be wonderful. Okay, so I need to get rid of the stuff inside socket IO here. All right. And refresh. I'm turning your plugin on, Vino. We're going to see if it's compatible with mine. If our plugins can live together. I want to get back to where I was at least. It says a client is connected, right? Because I've taken a step back and this is testing again. Message null. What the fuck? What did we change in here? So you make an event with open MZ console. What is it like a parallel event? How do I open this console? I wasn't watching. With a plugin command, okay. I created a button We're using uh, Vigistella's button common events. Oh, and then I... I'm just going to make a parallel event. A parallel event? Yeah, I'm just going to make it open it as soon as I get on the map. You mean an auto run? Oh, yeah, an auto run would work too. I, I don't know. Parallel just... would just like try with to my... open it constantly. Yeah, with my testing, I've been using a bajillion parallel events, so I've got them on my brain. That's okay. a, not a good way to do it. You should just make an event and talk to an event, and the event calls a plugin command. That's well, much easier. I mean, for like the event touch event, they had to be. It's it's it was, it was. Well, I mean, you're gonna want to open it multiple times, aren't you? What? <laughs> you're gonna want to open it English? multiple times, aren't you? <laughs> so like, you're gonna you're gonna have to reload the game to open the menu again. Uh -huh. Create a simple event, action button, one plugin command. That's it. You do all this complicated shit. I just want to open it once to see. An I only want to open it once to My see God. if it's working. That's it. I'm done. Then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, T. <laughs> okay. Uh, almost there. Almost there. Let's put the player on the map. So I have a problem. My step backwards still broke. I must have changed something because now it says message null. <laughs> message null. It doesn't have the. Okay, look. Hey, it works on mine. I got a little back thingy. I got right. That's I, what I, I was saying. Background. I can create a new game. It'd probably work if I started well, a new game. It's not a new game. I have my three plugins. One of them's a mess. I think it's pr if I had the command on, it would break the game. Do something like a console log. Yeah, I'm gonna console log something. Console log your mama. That's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I changed the server code, and that could explain some hey, things. Hey, yeah, it totally works on mine, Vino. Yeah, it's, it's just this project, Vino. The one that I'm working on right now. We've done so many weird things to it. So it's working for T. Yeah. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. I think you probably did it right. <laughs> it's just not going to work in every single game. Right. I am just, I mean, I really just, I'm, this is so frustrating. Socket IO and trying to network. Anybody who tries to do this is just insane. Five dollars or two dollars super chat for Vino. Thank you so much. And Vino's like, I'm what, gonna make it work for yours. What did you achieve today? I managed to break. I managed to take a step backwards. That's what I got. I managed <laughs> to when I opened it. I was like, here's where I'm. Where we're at. Look, I can send a message from the client to the server, from the MZ to the server. Now, message is null, and I've gone nowhere besides that. So that's how it is doing this shit. Vino, you want to see his uh, his index HTML? It's it doesn't look anything like like it used to. <laughs> it's changed quite a bit. It's right here. Well, there's two. Okay, right. Uh, which one's that for, one? This one is for the game. The game. So this, that's the game's index HTML right there. This is right the there, game's Vino. index HTML. It doesn't look anything like it did before. Drift, it's a simple fix. If you sacrifice two goats to the UN named God of Class, it will work. Drift, trust me, put trust in these words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't sacrifice yeah, goats. Corey. I don't think we're going to be sacrificing any goats. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I didn't even mess with this one today. 
I was I was messing with the easier one, the HTTP one. Let's see if this one still works. Regardless of what the game is actually doing, I haven't locked the keys yet. Um, the server should be receiving a message. Yeah, that so, one yeah. still works. So it's still working on RPG Maker. So why did you switch to the other method? Like, do you have to switch to the other method? The one that broke it? No, I'm trying to finish the damn tutorial mm -hmm. that shows you when you say, okay, look, I, I've managed to make it so that a client can send a message to the server, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The tutorial goes all the way to broadcasting and emitting. So mm -hmm. when the server receives data from one client, it can broadcast it to the other clients, completing the whole circle mm -hmm. right. of chat between clients. I see. So that's the added code, but that broke it. That's the final part right. of the of and, the thing. And I'm sure it works. We're just probably doing it wrong. Yeah. There's some things in here. Yeah. $5 super chat from Static Buzz. Thank you so much, Static Buzz. Would love to get Drifty and T's opinion on my question above, please. All right. Okay, let's, let's scroll What's up. Sorry, I missed above? it. Zeria, thank you. Thoughts, People please. could use. I'm thinking about starting a series for RPG Maker MZ that uses only what is included in the package. No plugins, no extra art. I will do VO. Though. Voiceover. Voiceover. Think that's? A, do you think that's something? Like I mean, a, a I don't know. Like a YouTube series? A whole series on the default assets? I think you're going to run out of content. But what's the series about? Are you building a game? Is it like a let's make a game? He says, yeah, a series that uses what's included. Uh -huh. like, I am with T. What What do you mean? Right. Like, are you going to make a game with the default assets? Are you going to talk about them? Are you going to show how to use them specifically? I know people. A series about what? A series about making. Yeah, I think people would like it. People love Let's Make a Game series. I think a Let's Make a Game would work. Mm hmm Yeah. Series about making a game with just that. And I know a lot of people like it when, when somebody who's using a Let's Make a Game uses just the default because if they're not interested in adding custom stuff, well, they can't really follow along if that's what you're doing. So I think there's a an appetite for it. Yeah. I think you'll get some views. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be boring to um, people who are who make their own custom stuff and bring in their own custom stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, probably they'll be like, oh, gosh, I don't want to see. I've seen this a hundred times. And, mm -hmm. and it's. But the thing is, there's new people coming to the scene all the time. So you'll catch the new audience. Or people that just are happy with it, you know, playing with it the way it is. Which is a lot of people, <laughs> That's actually. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Ziriab says, I think the problem with Drifty's project is that it's drifted too far apart from the default code. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, we're going to go back to the project once we get, like, the message send and receive part done. And then it'll be more just, like, traditional playing with MV type game team. dev. It's drifted too far. Drifted too far? Oh. Oh. I, he's, I'm, he's in his room now. He's I'm going gonna to go to my room now. He's in the corner oh, of wait, his room. Oh, wait. I'm already in my room. Thinking I'm gonna about. Go to, I'm going to go to the corner now. He's in the corner of his room thinking about what he's done. I'm also in the corner thinking about what I didn't catch. Corey Davis asked, do you guys think I'll be good at YouTube? I don't know. It's hard telling, Corey. The only t only way that we're going to know is if you do it. Yep. Here's the thing. Nobody's good at it right at the beginning. <laughs> you know, and being good at it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Well, it's do people want to watch you? Well, being good at it, it. Okay, when you say it is very well, broad he said YouTube. and it does matter. He said YouTube. I am talking about the same subject. All right, being good at YouTube. At, at YouTube is too broad. At what? At improvising? Mukbang. At <laughs> Mukbang. Tor Corey. Hey. Have you seen these channels? They just they just put a video cam webcam and they just like eat spaghetti. Mm -hmm. They just like eat spaghetti and they have their for mouth 30 right minutes. Up to the yeah, it's like ASMR, like oh, no, no. and they're just eating spaghetti and people are just tossing money at them. Like, hey yeah, I like the way you eat spaghetti. There that's a thing, especially in other countries. It's crazy. It's called mukbang. I was like, what the fuck? Really? People, some people love it, man. It's a thing. I think you can do it. I think uh, I think nobody's good right at the start. Yeah. It, it, it takes time to like. It takes time to get uh, comfortable. It does, like two years. And and then it also takes time to like figure out all the weird little things that YouTube makes you jump through. Mm -hmm. But the comfortable part's probably the biggest one. If you're not if you're not if you're not comfortable on the mic, people hear it you know it comes over 
I've already watched Corey. He's comfortable on the mic. Yeah, he's pretty. He starts off pretty good. Yeah, Corey doesn't give a damn what anybody. I'm not worried about that. It's just good. the experience. Like, he's been streaming a lot. That's good. Um, I think over time. Truly, I think I'll get banned if I get a little traction. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I probably though, cause he doesn't like to sugarcoat things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, there's there's plenty of shock, shock truth, not, shock news, yeah, but, shock humor. Yeah, but channels. not anymore. They're shutting them down like oh, hardcore. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of funny channels I used to watch, they got shut down. They don't make any money anymore. Yeah. Um. Gosh, I'm I'm still happy that iDubs is around. He's not as bad as, as uh, <laughs> iDubs is funny. Mm -hmm. But he was on the he was skirting the border for he a while. He does. Um, what was another one? Uh, my my gosh. first experience with iDubs was the, him the eating guy, pickles out of the sewer. All right, the guy who always wears a pink he wore a pink suit. He was a crazy dude. Uh, Dirty something. Yeah, yeah. Dirty Joe or whatever. No, no, no. Nasty. Filthy Frank. Filthy Frank. <laughs> Filthy Frank. Frank got shut down. He's like, he just he just play started a band. He's like, I'm just gonna go tour now. Yeah. But he he had a popping channel for a while, and and YouTube just shut his shock humor down. He was a little more jagged than iDubs. iDubs is more funny than shocking. Yeah, yeah I like iDubs. I think he's good. But anyway. I think that's it for now because I need to do reading and nobody wants to watch me read a website. Um, so I've got to do some research. I've got to look at what I've got and refactor and go back to the drawing board and figure out what I'm doing wrong. And uh, obviously I have to change stuff from the tutorial because I'm doing something different. There's no tutorial on how to use Socket.io really uh, inside of RPG Maker MZ and the way that I'm doing it. Like what I'm trying to do is there's nobody like Here's how you do it, really. There are some stuff out there. There are some things out there that I could use as resources, and I'm trying to do that. But anyway, I'm down to watch you read, Drifty. Read to me. <laughs> <laughs> Corey says, sir, if you can make some cash, I'm down, but I can't hold my tongue. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll uh, we'll let the stream go now. Love you guys very much. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. We did some stuff. We had some fun. We did. We had some gaffes and some laughs. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working on this thing for today, and and see if we can get the send and receive. And stay tuned on the Discord because if I do get it, I'll make like a 30 second video and I'll upload it on the MZ MMO channel. Join us on Discord. Like this video, if you like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Dick. I'm going to play a thing, and then we're going to go. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and join us on Discord. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and join us on Discord. Bye, guys. <laughs>